Peace, family. My name is Vicki Dillon. So pleased to be here on African Diaspora News Channel. Please make sure you give us a big thumbs up and share the broadcast. Okay, family, I want you to watch this brief clip of this beautiful black veteran, a former soldier in the United States military. Watch what he says here. I showed him my, my uh, military ID, which is on my driver's license. I did do a swipe it. And then I showed him my DD-214. That was okay with him. Ernest Walker says he provided proof of his service twice. Once when he ordered and a second time when he was asked by this employee after he finished yes, sir. eating. Yes, I did. Yes, At that point, time. in my opinion, he should have said, sir, I'm sorry. Thank you for your service. I would got up and walked out. Walker says Jesus, it was another customer who convinced this employee why he believed Walker was not a veteran. We checked and he is. That's according to the Pentagon. Walker served his country. And then the uh, manager comes and stands over me and moves her out the way and says, uh, sir, we have guests that says that you are not a real uh, 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 a military. You're not a soldier. I'm like, a guest said I'm not a soldier. What? As his story spreads, Walker says he's receiving support from across the country. This picture of Walker in uniform is proof of that. It's been liked several hundred times. Okay, family, did you see that? You've got nosy Karens and Kevins sitting up in Chili's talking about he's not a real soldier. And you have the actual management questioning this man about his valor. Now, I don't know how many of you all know this, but in the United States, sometimes you can get benefits and discounts in certain restaurants and places of business if they know that you serve in the military. Now, this is absolutely outrageous, family, because who does that? Nobody but a white supremacist. Talk black to me, somebody. This shows you just how pernicious the mindset is. And I want the world to keep in mind that black Americans fought in every single war before America was officially formed. We were fighting on both sides of the war with the hopes of freedom from either side, North or South. Not only that, while we, we were in the thick of Jim Crow and all other forms of oppression in all their forms, when we could not use the same toilets, when we had to go to the back of the door, when we were being lynched, some of our people, black women and men, served to go free uh, to free folks from Hitler. Think about that. How dare you? I can't wait to hear what you all have to say about it. Be sure to join my spiritual school if you're interested in profit, power, and purpose. Join clubvicky.com. The link is below. I can't wait to see you again.